Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiser Redux as the uh, CSA. Let's continue on from where we last left off. So, Colombia right now, as far as I'm aware, is the last country in uh, all of the Americas, excluding the Caribbean, that is not currently under the control of a syndicalist or syndicalist aligned government. So we probably want to deal with them as soon as we possibly can. Um... Right now, we're getting our logistics department. That should be done in just a few more weeks. But, there, but the problem is, like, there is a lot of... There's, there's still a lot of stuff. Gateway to the south. Most of this, I think, has already kind of been dealt with. Socialism in one nation. Ontario will accept. I mean, taking over Alaska... It does make sense. Got a war, uh, war cost belly against Columbia. Just Columbia. Caribbean Revolution is going to be 50 days. We could get puppet focuses on, like, France and South Africa. And Delhi has capitulated, which I think means that, yeah, Hyperbad is now the only major power in India. They are worth the Portuguese. Did I not kill Portugal? No, I guess they just live in their little colonies. I guess they just kind of let, eh, I don't want to be here anymore and just went away. Which I, I can understand. Uh, we don't need any of this stuff right now. With 375, we could get more recruit population, but I don't really think we need it. To be quite honest, like, we're not going to be fighting anybody else that's too, too dangerous. Like, who could we fight against? Like, our faction right now, all these people who are, of course, in green are part of our uh, alliance here. And they did, of course, annex Ecuador. Not really what I meant to do, but, you know, it's there. And a post been shot! Wow. Okay, well, someone shot the Pope. I mean, do you think it's going to be the military who's almost in Rome right now? That's entirely possible. Of course, there are, is some resistance in Ecuador, which is understandable. Again, it's not... Like, I wasn't meaning to annex the territory. Also, you guys will march away this way. Blue Army... You'll begin your march down Panama, and Colombia really shouldn't be a major threat. They have four to sixteen divisions. They they can't stop us. They they don't have enough troops to hold off this many um incoming soldiers. Uh, where's the rest of our army? You guys are going towards Italian Federation. And we don't have a possibility against Alaska. I completely forgot we were even justifying that. To be completely honest with you, you guys are just. Where are you going? Oh yeah, you're going to this border, right. You guys, then, don't go to the Italian Federation, because it's going to go part of the International very soon. Let's make our way up towards Alaska. It's, it's going to probably take you a while to get there. And how long does this cost the belly last for? It lasts for... Usually about a year, I would say. I could just, like, attack them right now. They have no allies or anything. They have... Apparently a two-day division, so which is more than you would expect. I mean, even if I allow them to attack and they take over, like, all of British Columbia or something like that, it really doesn't make any real difference. Yeah, you just need to go back home. Yeah, it's going to take you a while because you are currently in Algeria. Going from Algeria to um, Alaska is definitely a bit of a journey. Rome has fallen. Let's go pick, give net power to the uh, Red Navy. Which, I mean, we don't really need it to do. Also, I, I still like the uh, Czech the, uh, borders. They're just looking absolutely beautiful. Like, how is resistance up here? I mean, France is actually, you know, they're doing fine. All things considered. Like, does nobody accept claims to this territory? And, like, I can't give it to anybody because I don't have, um, like, the tool pack installed. Usually, straight transfer tool works all right, but apparently, just not in uh, Kaiser Redux. And of course, like Russia has been doing pretty, pretty well. I mean, there are wars with Japanese. I, I don't think this war is ever going to end. And if it does, it would be a like a miracle. Of course, yeah, you guys should be very, very aggressive. Colombia. Yeah, they just don't have the troops necessary. If I if I were to justify a war, take 140 days. 50, 50. So, I mean, it would still technically be faster for me to justify a war against Colombia than wait for the cost of belly. It's going to be 10 days faster, but 10 days is 10 days. 
you know. We'll take it. Actually, this isn't to allow me then to instead go for the Caribbean Revolution. We could also attack, like, the Ottoman Empire in Egypt. But I don't really see... I mean, we don't have any troops that border this location. I don't really think that's going to be uh, too important for us for now. Probably, actually, once you take over North America, we'll think about just finishing the rest of our bada-bing, bada-boom. Uh, focus tree for Capone himself. Let's just see what other flavor events are actually uh, within there. Okay, we'll upgrade our artillery, make them a little bit better for us. Who are you? You are, I think, Peruvian troops. And how long... Oh, we already got troops that's already in America. I guess probably not everybody went to Algeria then. Where actually is the bulk of your army then? Oh no, you've actually... You've gone back home surprisingly fast. Like, way faster than I would have expected. Uh, so let's go for a land doctrine. No, we've already finished all those. 1944. It's still going to take about a year, but I mean, what else am I going to really uh, research at this point? And well, you'll be done on the 11th of July. And I mean, again, we don't really need to worry about what Columbia does. They, they don't have enough troops to stand up to Capone. And of course, you are in Third International. Mexico's not in a faction quite yet. And I, do, I don't know if there's a way for them to join our faction. But the Peace League. Peace through Socialism. I, mean, I, don't, I don't actually really see anything. We don't need to do any of the social liberation because I think we've annexed all of these territories already. Patagonian Workers Front has been declared. Sure, why not? I mean, you're still in my puppet state, so I really don't care what it is that you're going to do. And our troops, you know, they're already in Alaska. You know what? Actually, don't be on the border directly. No, no, we'll declare war in Alaska. I, you know, no, just to stay here. Your job is going to be, hey, march your way all the way up towards the north, take over all of Alaska. It really shouldn't be that much of a problem for you. Now that we power the Red Navy, we are able to form our own faction. You're just like opinion modifiers. And most of these people other than Mexico are already in our faction, so who cares? Like, how much manpower do you think Alaska has? It can't be much. Yeah, 4,000. So, really, like, you can't replace your losses at all. And look at that. We've, we've already pushed our way through the front line. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Goodbye, Alaska. We hardly knew ye. And I like how it's like the Dominion of Alaska. It's the Dominion of who? Because, like, Canada doesn't exist. I don't think, other than, like, maybe South America or, you know, probably Australia, really nobody can claim any kind of leadership position in the old British Empire. So I'm really not too sure what you're up to these days. Can do war propaganda, but again, I mean, you know, why not? We only have 54% war support, which actually is not that high. Yeah, no, can't, uh, these guys are just dead. They're, they're, they're goners. Not, nothing they can do to stop us. Uh, we're not training in troops, but again, we don't really need to. Okay, export focus. We could do free trade. And you know what? We have a lot of resource, probably naturally. But I think going to free trade is not a bad idea. Okay, no, we actually do need uh, more steel. But I mean, for more factory output, it's probably worth it, especially since I'm not really going to be using my civilian factories for too, too much at this point. Like, how much equipment do I actually have? I have half a million rifles. Which I would consider that to be pretty, pretty good. So now you guys are still soulless, so I'm not too sure what you guys are doing. 
Piper Bad has done uh, some good work. Is, is anybody at war with anybody else? I don't really think so. So there's no reason for me to send rifles to anybody or, you know, help them out in that regard. Just build, just build more military factories. Militarize the hell out of America. That seems that seems okay. Did you kick them out of this province again? You did! Fantastic! I mean, the last guy's already halfway dead. I'm assuming they aren't going to die until we actually take Anchorage. I'm surprised Anchorage, like, wasn't her capital, but... Low stability. I mean, yeah, our stability is low. I'll, I'll give them that. Get more war support. Well, right now, like, what are we We're doing? We're civilian oversight. Let's just do local police force. Actually, no, we, we can... We can afford the manpower. You know, no, just keep civilian oversight. It, it's really not a big deal. If Ecuador wants to uh, blow up some Ecuadorian factories, I don't really think that matters to us. Like, so, so much. Our factory will be done in five more days. After that, what do we want to do? I mean, there's, like, so many, like, focuses that we just have not taken. I mean, there's too many focuses, really... To take in general. I mean, this tree here doesn't really do anything for us. As far as I'm concerned. Like, again, we could do Caribbean Revolution and annex all of the Caribbean. Which is not a bad thing. But I think we do want to just kind of do more of the uh, Capone events. Because that, that's really what is going to be a little bit more interesting. So let's open up some soup kitchens. And our cost of belly's gonna be ready in. I mean, we're already like halfway there. Fantastic. And once we're no longer just marching on, you have no manpower, two to six divisions. Yeah, I think just Fairbanks in this will be enough for us to get the capitulation. And then annex Hawaii or Alaska directly into our glorious, glorious uh, country. You're now the Union Triple Otania. So yeah, we got the American Social Alliance. We got the Third International. The Cairo Pax kind of is doing its own thing. The Adin Pact. I, I really don't see uh, you surviving for too much longer. Also, you... You're just... Russia just owns an island over here. Okay. You know what, Russia? If you want to own an island over there, that's completely fine. I'm not going to uh, judge you too much on that. Third International... Northern Z Lee Clique. I, I can't tell if they're winning or not. And Russia just owns a bunch of islands. Or a bunch of uh, cities here. I'm guessing those... Oh, those are probably part of the AOG at some point. Which I guess makes a, a decent amount of sense. Yes, now you're all in our great faction. Columbia, you will join soon. Oh, trust me. Really, that actually was not enough to capitulate Alaska. Oh, you haven't taken Anchorage yet. But I think they only have... They have, they have two more cities. Of course, you know, marching all your troops to Alaska is not great. Uh, Where's our navy? Because we're going to actually have to send our navy up towards these Caribbean islands. Delete all your old orders. Just come up to here for right now. And after that, you guys will go to this port. And we're just going to try to invade all of these places. Jamaica. Actually, we might actually make a house of bellies for that. Uh, when the time comes, we will have... It's going to be against Cuba, Haiti, Cuba, and the West Indies Union. But I don't think the West Indies Union actually exists anymore. We got Trinidad and Tobago. They just kind of exist. Apparently, you don't get one on the Dominican Republic, though. That's I find that a little bit uh, strange, but okay. And we don't get one on Jamaica. So, I mean, we're literally only invading, I think, like, two people in that. Cuba, Haiti. No, in fact, there's two folks against Cuba. They put Cuba in there twice. So, if you really, really, really want to kill Cuba... 
You know, you, you got options. You got five or ten more days until you are ready. Yeah, I mean, you like, you don't do anything for us. Maybe you'd allow us to join the, um... Or have Mexico join our faction? I'm not too, too sure. Call the personality. Long live our chairman Capone is gone from a crime boss to America's true savior. His supplies won us the war. His actions kept America from starving. We owe all to the boss. Sure, why not? So open up some soup kitchens. Let's open, let's uh, found the welfare state. And we have our cause of belly against Colombia. Fantastic. Actually, a little bit faster than I would have thought. Uh, we'll call you into the war. Why not call you into both? I mean, we don't really lose anything from that. Call you into the war. We don't really need to call any of our other puppets in. Eh, we can call Brazil in, because we actually have some troops on that border as well. And to me, that seems okay. Do you think we'll actually even kill Colombia by the end of this episode? There's only like five, six minutes left. It's not, it's not an impossible uh, task. Seeing as these troops in Costa Rica are already doing a fantastic job. Yeah, the tanks are just steamrolling their way through the country. Let's send our tanks forward. Crush this uh, single division. Yeah, we've already taken over a decent chunk of the country, I would say. What flag is that? That is Uruguay. I, mean, I, I do not like your flag. I'm just going to let you know that right now. So you've already got all these techs going. Might as well get the 1943 artillery tech. We don't really lose anything from that. The I mean, already at 74% uh, capitulation. We've lost only 5,000 men this entire war. How are you not dead yet, Alaska? I know they definitely have added more victory points to Alaska now they made it like its own tag, but still, how are you not dead yet, Alaska? Uh, we do have one city up towards the north, so let's go drive up and capture that one. I mean, the tanks, the light tanks are doing work. Now we'll go capture the uh, Colombian capital. And I would say just like that, Colombia is dead. And I was worried about them taking more than six minutes. Apparently, it's only been, it's in like two. So, I think the war against Alaska has actually lasted longer than the war against Colombia is going to. Like how long does it take for you anybody to get to Nome? You still have another 13 days to get there. They actually both capitulate at the exact same time. Well, that's convenient. Uh, Alaska, take all states. Take all states from Colombia. Thank you very much. You guys are probably heading to... Yeah, go to here. Just prepare naval invasions of the Caribbean for now. We'll land troops there. We'll land troops in you. And then we'll also land troops in Guantanamo Bay. Then after this, Blue Army, you're going to go to, uh, just go to this province. Draw a naval invasion of Port-au-Prince for, uh, Haiti. And what about Purple Army? Because, I mean, they don't, they can't really do anything right now. I mean, I guess they do actually have a border with Egypt, if we wanted to push that claim. I'm going to throw more troops on this border. How many how much supplies do you actually have? 19 out of 34. So, I mean, your supplies are already kind of filled up. And I'm also going to abandon, like, two of these countries here. Just have only troops on this border. I don't think the German government exile can really do anything against us, personally. And I guess at this point... I mean, like, we like where do we put our troops? You know what, actually, putting them on the Spanish border is not a bad idea. If I was to justify a war against Spain, take another 140 days. But I mean, like, why not, right? 
So Colombia, liberate Colombia under a friendly government. And then the fate of Colombia, liberate Panama under a friendly government as well. I think Panama exists in this tiny little, oh, poor little Panama. Oh, that's so sad. What is, how many people live in this country, do you think? There's 16,000 people living in tiny Panama. It's honestly a little bit cute. It's a, it's a cute little country. Let's prepare some troops here. Maybe I actually want to get the next level of naval invasion tech. Would not be a bad idea. And we'll keep on trying to take over the black uh, legion cells. It's going to take 400 manpower. I mean, the modifier for them, I don't think it's actually too, too bad. Because we press that button enough times. Like, I'm surprised, if anything, that we're still dealing with them at this point. To me, that's the crazy part. Mexico, we're also, we're friends. We are friends. You stay over there, please. And do not attack us. Again, I don't think you will attack us. But please do not attack us. We found the welfare state. After that, we will go for... Let's just do mass collectivization. That seems okay. But also, I think for right now, this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thank you for watching. My name is Anthony Lamb. If you enjoyed, turn thumbs up. Not do it, click thumbs down. You want to see me subscribe, and goodbye.